Patrick Winterton and Mick Berwick are both remarkable people. Patrick's an ex-Olympic skier who served for nine years as a Marine, while back in the late 80s, Mick was one of our top canoe slalom racers. Now they're about to tackle an even bigger challenge. They're attempting to paddle 180 nautical miles across the high seas and into the record books. For three days, they'll have no sight of land. They'll have to do everything on board, sleep, cook, and contend with all that the sea can throw at them. Last year, their first attempt ended on the tiny island of North Rona when they became ill. This time, they're determined to succeed, but you don't just set off on a trip like this. It takes months of planning and preparation, including a visit to the RNLI training college at Poole to make sure their survival skills are up to scratch. We've been issued with seasickness bags and advised to take seasickness bills. I think that means it's going to be rough. <laughs> It's, it's the most uh, incredible facility, a, a, a largish swimming pool uh, that looks as though it's only half full when you arrive, but they've got this ability of creating uh, one and a half metre high waves actually in the swimming pool. Not only that, they can add the sound effects with uh, playing the sound of a storm, which is pretty frightening. Then they can uh, black the room out so you get the full Force 10 uh, effect as you're, you're in there in the life raft. And, and it's a very good um, simulation as to what might happen. Who's got the torch? The torch is in the other bag. Where's the other bag? Throughout the day, we were introduced to a huge amount of equipment, much of which uh, I carry in my boat, but I was embarrassed to say that I was useless at actually uh, activating it, because it, it's, it's very seldom you, you get your flares or your e out and it just highlighted the importance of being familiar with the, the equipment you're carrying. Otherwise, there's no point in having it with you at all. Starting in Stornoway, the duo will paddle a short leg up the coast to the butt of Lewis. From here, it's a 50-mile kayak to the uninhabited island of North Rona and their final hours on dry land. Then it's northwards for three days across the remote waters of the North Atlantic. Three days entirely alone and a long, long way from rescue. Right now, with just four weeks before departure, the pair head to Sky for the final test of all their gear. It's not been done before, and I, I want to do it. I want to do something that no one's ever done before. This is our last big test, really. We don't really want to exert ourselves as much as this uh, again before we go. So this is, uh, this is the big test to see whether all the work we've done over the last year or more has, uh, has actually paid off.